Hi everyone. Today we are going to enter into a world where everything is so tiny. We can't see the things there from our naked eye. So, we'll have to use a tool to enlarge the things there. I hope you all have heard about microscopes. Let's get to know about various microscopes. Do you like to go on a journey into a plant leaf? Let's start. We are entering the leaf through a stomata, which works as a valve to gas exchange with plant and the atmosphere. You can see millions of plant cells. Inside the cells, many organelles are there. This is a chloroplast. You can see stacked coil-shaped grana called thylakoids. Photosynthesis is taking place there. These are in nanometer scale. You won't know about any of these if microscopes were not there. So let's start with the simplest tool, the simple microscope or the hand lens. Not only hand lens, polythene bag filled with water, glass spheres or glass bottles can be used as simple microscope. You can see two common features in all these items. What are they? They are having convex or protruded surfaces and they are transparent too. Hand lenses can magnify an item by 5 times or even 20 times. Remember, it cannot magnify items which we cannot see from the naked eye. Let's see how the invention of the compound microscope began. The first compound light microscope was made by Zacharias Jensen. Its magnification was 9 times. But the honor of making a microscope first goes to the Dutch scientist Anton van Leeuwenhoek. The reason is this could reveal a world which was not seen from the naked eye. So what is actually a compound microscope? If you observe a specimen by keeping one hand lens over the other with a particular distance between them, you'll see the magnification gets higher. In the same way, resolution too. We'll learn about resolution later. Compound light microscopes used in the labs are also having two convex lenses with high magnification power. Here we can see microscopic observation of a pond water sample. You'll never see such organisms from your naked eye. Let's identify the main parts of a compound microscope. Eyepiece is on top. You have to keep the eye like 1 cm above the eyepiece. Then you can see the cylindrical shaped body tube. Body tube is moved up and down by the coarse and fine adjustment knob. The body tube can be moved by considerable amounts by the coarse adjustment knob. Fine adjustment is used for little changes which is used to focus the specimen. You can see three objective lenses here. One is low power objective lens. Its magnification is like 4, 5 or 8 times. The mid power objective lens has a medium magnification like 10 times. High power objective lens has the highest magnification. It can magnify an specimen like 40 times. Stage is used to keep the slide of the specimen. Specimen is properly fixed to the stage by the stage clips. Diaphragm is just below the stage and it is controlling the amount of light obtained by the specimen. The mirror can be a convex mirror or a plane mirror. It focuses light onto the diaphragm. The microscope is kept on the supporting surface steadily by the base. You should maintain a proper posture when getting an observation from the microscope. You should keep both the eyes open and sit on a bench comfortably before observing. It should be as shown here. 
Let's get to know about resolution and magnification. What is meant by resolution? It is the minimum distance by which two points must be separated to be seen as two separate entities. The image is unclear when the resolution power of the lens is low. From lenses with higher resolution, you can obtain a clear image. The slide with the specimen can be fixed to the stage using stage clips. Three objective lenses are attached to the nose piece. First, light should be supplied to the specimen by a mirror or an electric bulb. In some microscopes, the stage can be moved to change the distance between the objective lens and the specimen. If you use the high power objective lens, how do you find the total magnification of that microscopic observation? As two lenses are used in the compound microscope, we multiply the magnification of the eyepiece by the magnification of the objective lens to find the total magnification. It's 10 into 40. The answer is 400. If you divide the size of the image by the size of the real object, you can obtain the magnification of the particular item. Electron microscope is sophisticated and advanced equipment. Its maximum magnification is like 10 million times. Its resolution limit is about 0.2 nanometers. Living specimens cannot be observed from the electron microscope because samples are placed in a vacuum. Viruses can only be seen through the electron microscope. These days you hear a lot about viruses. Here are some images of coronavirus from electron microscope. Most coronaviruses have a crown-like appearance. These images are made using scanning and transmission electron microscopes. And they are digitally colorized. I hope you enjoyed the lesson on microscopes. Let's meet again with another interesting lesson on Splendid Science Club. Thank you for joining.